now is Canadian trucker Doug Braithwaite, along with Rebel News reporter Lincoln J. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. I know you guys are having a big moment there in Ottawa. Doug, where exactly are you? Are you are you in the city? I'm in the city. I'm right downtown on Albert Street in O'Connor. Albert Street and O'Connor. Your, your prime minister, Doug, calls you fringe, calls you a bunch of racist right-wingers. What is your response to Justin Trudeau? Well, this is one heck of a small fringe benefit. Our convoy is over 100,000 trucks. There's still 300 trucks coming from out west that have decided to come in anyways. There's still guys coming in from the east coast. They're blocking. They've been past me as, as we are. We are not blocking traffic. Traffic are going by. And it, we've been very peaceful. The police have been very uh, helpful here and keeping us uh, on the side streets and that. It's been going great. We, we're going to wait them out. You're going to wait them out. Lincoln, as, as a reporter, the, the difference between how the media in this country is portraying this versus the reality of what Doug just told us, uh, he says it's very peaceful. You know, if you watch the news in this country, you think that these guys were rioting in the streets and, and robbing soup kitchens. It's, uh, well. It couldn't be farther from the truth, to be honest. You know, we've been on the ground here uh, since we got here Thursday night. And uh, since then, it's just been, you know, thousands upon thousands of people on the streets. And I cannot reiterate enough how peaceful it is here. It's, you know, yeah. it's just, it's such a, a loving, uh, a loving, warm crowd. And uh, it, it just shows you how out of touch uh some of these people are that are that are trying to that are trying to write this narrative it's just it's so much farther from the truth and if they were really here you know on the ground in the thick of it you know reporting the truth and uh and showing showing what's really happening they'd know that too but and that's Lincoln, the world what we're is it? In. Lincoln, what does it look like? I mean, I mean, what does Ottawa look like tonight? I mean, is it? Are there just trucks everywhere? I mean, he says he said traffic is still moving okay, but is it just? Could you miss this if you drove through any part of Ottawa, or is it just right in your face? We, okay, well, in the downtown core, it's uh, like it's just you can't really drive around. It's just blocked everywhere. You know, police cars everywhere. The trucks are everywhere. And they, the police actually set up uh, tractors on certain streets as uh, as roadblocks to uh, try and close off uh, parts of the downtown core here in Ottawa. But <laughs> if you, I guess, if you're on the outskirts of the city, it's uh, you know it's a little bit quieter. But you know, in the everyone, the main demonstration uh, takes place outside of Parliament, which is right behind me. So everyone kind of flocks to this area. But right, uh, it's it's basically completely transformed the city. That's amazing. Doug, real quick before I let you guys go, what exactly do you want? I mean, the prime minister says he's not going to talk to you guys. What exactly do you want and how long can you wait? Well, we just want freedom of choice. He's taking our freedom away. Uh, you know, it's it's basically you want this shot, you don't want the shot. It should be by choice. We shouldn't be threatened to lose our career, our lifestyle. Uh, our jobs just because we don't feel that we need to have the shots. We can comply with everything else. It's just, we just want a freedom of choice. That's what it comes down to. And we're willing to sit out here and wait until he starts to come to see eye to eye. Understood. Wow. Doug Braithwaite and Lincoln J. Uh, guys, thank you so much for, for bringing us into Ottawa and showing us this story. Um, it is something else. It really is. We'll, we'll, we'll check back in with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. So if you want to see what happened this weekend, please go to convoyreports.com. If you want to support us and our coverage, please chip in generously and you can as well sign the petition. Yeah. 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 Yeah.